I'm ashamed to say I lost my temper with a punter this week. Our customers are not always the easiest to deal with, but over time I've built up an armour. Once in a while someone comes up with a line you haven't heard before and you do your best to keep it under control, ready a smart response for the next time it happens. The last time I lost it was when a guy said, I could have nicked this, but I didn't, so you've got to give me it cheaper. I chased him off the stall shouting words that my lady customers really shouldn't hear. Anyway, I was on Queen's on Thursday when this guy interrupted me serving two ladies demanding his money back on some pants that he'd bought. Now, I give money back on everything, but not pants. Not since the time I got back a pair of three pair mama briefs and one of the garments was decidedly not white. So, I explained, I said I'm sorry, I don't pay, take pants back, and I explained why I don't take pants back, but he was having none of it. In the end I decided it wasn't worth the effort, so I gave him back his two pound, and I told him to go. Only I didn't exactly tell him to go. He told me I couldn't talk to him like that. I told him he's got his money back and I could talk to him exactly how I liked. Then I told him, in not so many words again, to go. Then as he walked off the stall, he called me that word you're really not supposed to use. That's when he started to get ugly. I nearly hit him. Fortunately, I managed to come to my senses in time and defuse the situation. It's the first time I lost my temper with a punter in nearly two years and now I've got to start again from scratch. Still, I suppose that's my neck of all That's this week's report from Pete the Market Trader. The man on the street. Literally. <laughs>